Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use this standard result to integrate uh, a number of examples. So let's go through this result. If you integrate 1 over x with respect to x, the result is ln the modulus of x uh, plus c. Okay? So let me highlight this result and let me show you how to apply this result to solve some integration problems. So here's example number one. Let's take a red pen, underline this. So let's integrate. So with the aid of this result, let's integrate, say, part A. Let's integrate 1 over 2x with respect to x. Okay? So remember, going back to that standard result, when you integrate 1 over x with respect to x, the result is ln the modulus of x plus c. So for us to use this result, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a common factor of 1 over 2 out of the integral. So you can only take a constant out of the integral. So I'm going to take a common factor of 1 over 2 out of the integral, leaving me with 1 over x to integrate. So now we're able to use this standard result. So remember, integration of 1 over x is ln the modulus of x plus c. So we're going to have half. So half is a constant. ln the modulus of x plus c. So that should be your final answer for that one. Okay. Likewise, in part b, So let me just do one more. So if you're integrating minus 5 over 2x with respect to x, so let's um, use this standard result to help us with this problem. So as with the previous part, I'm going to take out a common factor. So if I take out a common factor of minus 5 over 2, so again, you can only take constants out of the integration. So if I take out a constant of minus 5 over 2, we're left with 1 over x again to integrate. And if you integrate 1 over x, remember, it's ln the modulus of x uh, plus c. So in this case, we're going to have minus 5 over 2 ln the modulus of x plus c. So that is the final answer to part b. So let me give you another result, which is based on this standard result. So let me give you an additional result. So over to the reverse side. So if you're integrating a function of the form f primed x over f of x with respect to x. Okay? The result is going to be ln the modulus of f of x plus c. Okay? So before I explain this result, let's highlight it in red. So let's go through this result. So we can only apply this result if the numerator is the derivative of the denominator. So in the event where your numerator is the derivative of the denominator, the result will be ln the modulus of f of x plus c. So in, in many problems, you may need to rewrite your integral so that your numerator is the derivative of the denominator. And I'll show you um, how to rewrite your integral um, in those situations, okay? Let's take some examples. So let me show you how this result is applied. So example number one. So in example number one, let's integrate. And here's part A. So let's integrate this integral 3x over x squared plus one with respect to x. So here are the steps in order to use this result over here. So remember, you can only use this result 
if the numerator is the derivative of your denominator. Now over here, step number one is I let my f of x be the term on the denominator x squared plus 1. So I call uh, x squared plus 1 f of x, okay? And we need to calculate f primed. So f prime means we need to differentiate f of x. So when we differentiate f of x, we're going to have 2x, okay? So remember, we can only use this result if the numerator is the derivative of the denominator, okay? So in this case, our derivative for f of x is 2x. So 2x is related to 3x, okay? So it's a term involving x also. So we can apply this result here. And let me show you how to apply this result. So this takes us to step number two. So since the numerator again is related to f primed, let me show you how to rewrite this integral so that we can apply this result, okay? Now, here's my trick for rewriting this integral. Now keep the denominator term as it is. So leave the x squared plus one in the denominator. So don't do anything with the x squared plus one. And I'm gonna use these colors in order to help you. Now f primed, so f primed is two x, okay? That is related to um, the three x. So that is why we're using this result again. So we copy out the f primed x over here. So two x goes here. Okay, and as you can see, these two integrals don't match. So the integral that we have here doesn't match the integral that I have in our question. Okay, so to make it match, we need to include these further steps. Okay, so here are the further steps. Now, the number, so just the number in the numerator, so the number 2, we write over here. So green matches with green. So number two matches with the number over here. So I'm going to write that two here. So two appears outside your integral sign, okay, below. And to get the three, okay, this number, so the number in the numerator of your problem, you copy out over here. So write that three on top over here in the numerator outside your integration sign, okay? So in order to make your integrals match, remember, two, the number in the numerator here, copy out outside, so copy this outside your integration sign in the denominator of that term. So number matches number, so green matches with the green. And to get that number three on top, number here, in the numerator of your problem, copy out outside in the numerator, outside your integration sign of step two. So dotted black matches with dotted black, okay? Now to check whether these two uh, integrals are exact, so as you can see, three over two times this uh, fraction here, so the twos will cancel, three you can bring inside and as you can see, you're going to get 3x over x squared plus 1. So these two integrals do indeed match. But also, we can apply this result. So as you can see in this fraction inside, um, we have our fraction of the form f primed over f of x. So as you can see, so let me just cover what we have outside. So f of x is x squared plus 1. And f primed, we calculated as 2 or 2x, okay? So, in that case, we can use this result here. So, here is our answer. So, this takes us to step 3. So, our answer is, keep the 3 over 2, that's a constant, outside. So, according to this result, it's ln modulus of f of x, and f of x is x squared plus 1, add c. Okay, so that is your final, final answer. Okay, so let's try another one. 
So part B, and I'll be consistent with the colours to show you once again uh, how this method works. So we're going to integrate in exactly the same way. We're going to integrate uh, this one. 3 sine 2x over, okay, so 3 sine 2x over cos 2x plus 3 with respect to x. So in this case, let's follow the same steps as we've done in part A. So in step number one, so let's check whether this process works. So let's check whether we can use this result. So in this case, f of x is the term in the denominator. So cos 2x plus 3. And let's use that to work out f prime. Okay. So remember, when you differentiate cos, you get minus sine. So it's a minus sine 2x. But you need to multiply by the derivative of 2x. So in total you're going to get minus 2 sine 2x here. So it's a minus 2 sine 2x. Okay. If you're unfamiliar in terms of differentiating trigonometric functions, be sure to watch one of the videos that I did earlier where I differentiated trigonometric functions. Okay. So back to this example. So that is step one, working out f primed. In step number two, step number two is to rewrite your integral. So let's go through the process. So as I said earlier, keep the denominator term as is. So I'm going to copy down the cos 2x plus 3. Now, this result is going to work here because when we worked out f prime, remember, we had minus 2 sine 2x and that is related to the numerator of our problem. So this result is going to work. So let's rewrite this result. So remember the colours. I used a red pen because f primed, which in this case is minus 2 sine 2x, you copy down here. So red with red. So let me write down the minus 2 sine 2x here, okay? Now, these two integrals, the integral that you have in your question and the integral that you have currently in step 2, they don't match. So we need to continue the process. So outside this integral, okay, remember the number, so the number is minus 2, okay? You copy down here in a denominator outside your integral. So only the number, so as I did earlier, only the number which is minus two, copy out over here, okay? And to get that three, remember, number three, so dotted black, copy down here, dotted black. So that appears in the numerator of the term in front of the integral of step two. So dotted black, number, with the dotted black over here, okay? So now do a double check. So three over minus two times this fraction over here should give you um, the same term that you have in your problem, okay? So everything's looking good so far. So if I continue, so here is step number three. Don't have enough space, so let me use a fresh page. So in step number three, so we're going to have minus 3 over 2, that constant. So minus 3 over 2, ln. So our f of x is cos 2x plus 3. So cos 2 of x plus 3 plus c. So that is your final, final answer. Okay. So if you're familiar with the methods, Doing problems like these should be quite straightforward, okay? Let me try one more. So our part C. So here's part C. Let's integrate. So let's integrate, um, let's say, um, e to the power 2x divided by, okay, so e to the power of 2x 
divided by, okay, uh, in this case, um, e to the power of 2 of x plus 3 with respect to x. So in this case, let's check whether the method's going to work. So let's start the steps. So in step number one, f of x, let me take that to be the denominator term, which is e to the 2 of x plus 3. And let's use that to work out f prime. Okay. So remember, when you differentiate uh, e to the power of 2 of x, since we have a constant in front, we're going to have... 2e to the 2 of x, so 2e to the 2 of x, okay? And again, if you're unfamiliar differentiating exponentials, be sure to watch uh, a video that I did on the derivatives of exponential functions, okay? So going to step number two, step number two is to rewrite your integral, okay? So integration sign, Keep that denominator term e to the 2 of x plus 3 as it is. Okay? So remember the idea. So let's go back to the last example. f primed of x are highlighted in red. Copy that on the top of this integral in step 2. So red with red. So red with red. Okay? So let me copy down the 2e to the 2 of x here. Okay. Now, as you can see, these two integrals don't match, so we need to continue with the with the method. So remember, number only the number. So two here, we write here. So green with green. So two number I copy down here. Okay. And to get one here, the number here dotted black copy down here so dotted black number with dotted black number okay so let's do a quick check to see whether these two integrals match so 1 over 2 times this fraction inside is equal to the term that we have in our problem so these two integrals do indeed match that means we can apply the results so since our term is of the form f primed over f of x we're going to have as a result 1 over 2 that term outside ln the modulus of f of x which is e to the 2 of x plus 3 plus c so that is the final answer to part c okay so that completes that example and here are the steps involved in order to use the result integration of f primed over f of x with respect to x and that is ln the modulus of f of x plus c okay so that sadly ends this video i hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video a like is very much appreciated do practice related problems and i hope